Welcome to the second ever Godot plugin of the week. This is a series where I shout out a Godot plugin every week to bring light to these different add-ons. So getting right into it, we are looking at the Signal Lens plugin. And this is one that there are a couple different variations of across different developers. Signal Lens looks like it's the most powerful and up-to-date, but this one was actually suggested by one of you in the comments. If you do want to suggest an add-on for a future video, make sure to drop it in the comments. But what this add-on does is it gives you a different window inside of your like debugger panel and it allows you to visualize the signal connections between your objects while the game is running. It also logs all your signal connections so you can refer to them later. Now one important thing that it cannot do yet and he put this in parentheses here so hopefully that's a feature that's coming soon but we don't have support for object ref counted or resource types and that's kind of a bummer for my project I guess because I have a lot of signals that are emitting from resources but we'll go over the installation process quick and then we'll go into like a hands-on uh, use case for it. Just like any other plugin, you can go to the GitHub, which is obviously linked in the description, but you can just go to this code button and download the zip file, or obviously you can pull the repository. If you want to do it through Godot, you can obviously switch over to the asset library and search for the Signal Lens plugin, and from here you can just install it as you would with any other plugin. Make sure in your file system you just have the Signal Lens folder inside of your add-ons, and then inside of project settings, you go to your plugins tab and just make sure it's enabled. But once it's enabled, I can run my game here. And you're going to see that if I switch to the debugger tab at the bottom, I know I have an extra tab at the top for signal lens. Don't mind this behave tab that's going to be in a future video, but signal lens pops up here. And if I click on this, it will visualize the signals of any node I have selected. So the first step is going to be figuring out what we want to look at. So I'm going to go into my remote tree. And like I said, I have a lot of signals in resources in this game. So I don't have the best examples, but if I clicked on something like my events node, I have an event for when an enemy dies and it shows that as a signal right here. So anything coming out of this, this node here is going to be what the signal is connected to, right? So it says my event signal is connected to my base lobby on enemy killed. So in my game, a barrel technically counts as an enemy because of the way I'm programming it. But if I destroy this barrel, you're going to see that we got a little animation in the bottom panel. Now you can optionally check this little icon here, and this is basically going to freeze all of the signal animations. So rather than that fading back out to like this default red line, it would just stay emitted. So this is obviously useful for if you want to debug something with a lot of signals, kind of checking which signals have been emitted. You can also open, I, I've had this open the whole time, but if you click on this little drop down icon, it's obviously going to pop up the history of when your signals were emitted. And it gives you a lot of information, like it literally gives you the exact timestamp and the frame stamp of when it was emitted. But yeah, just really useful. A lot of options for visualizing your signals. Now I'm going to mention that again, signals currently don't work with uh, these classes he listed on the GitHub. But if you're watching this video, I would make sure to just check up on the GitHub. Maybe they've been implemented by then. But yeah, that's about it for this plugin. So if you think it looks interesting, be sure to give it a shot and try it out. Also, like I said, if you have any other plugins you want to recommend, recommend for future videos, leave them in the comments. And really quick, I also wanted to shout out this plugin. So this is basically the same thing. It looks like it's maybe just a bit uh, more outdated, but this is still a really cool plugin that does essentially the same thing. If you prefer the way that it displays the signal connections over the other one, I will also link this GitHub in the description. So that's it for this video. Thank you to all the current channel members. If you want to check out the Discord or my website or anything, you can find the links in the description as always. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your week.